Did they come back? Iris. <laughs> it's been 30 years since the release of the classic holiday movie Home Alone. The movie was the highest grossing Christmas film worldwide until last year's The Grinch knocked it off the top spot. Really? Yeah, how about that? Yeah. The movie was uh, filmed at various locations in Illinois, but the iconic McAllister home in Winnetka remains a huge tourist attraction. The Abenshine family owned that home at the time the movie was made back in 1990. And actually, they stayed in the house as the cast and crew filmed the movie. Lauren Abenshein was only six years old at that time, living in the house. She's with us this morning. Tell us more what it was like. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I can't imagine you having a whole film crew in your house, and you weren't that much younger than Macaulay Culkin at the time. We were very close in age. I think he was uh, two or three years older than I was. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was surreal. <laughs> And so how did you make that work? I would have thought they would have shooed you off to some hotel for a while, but it sounds like you were living there while they were shooting. We did. We stayed there pretty much the entire time they were there, both during setup and filming. Um, they did offer us an apartment, but uh, we wanted to stay and see the magic. And so <laughs> we did. Um, and so, yeah, we, we saw them filming uh, day and night, and you just kind of have to stay out of the camera line, stay under the window line so that you didn't show up on film, um, stay out of frame. Uh, definitely not your, your normal uh, living situation, but it was a ton of fun. And what's some of your best memories? Do you remember any particular scene that you saw being filmed out of all those iconic scenes we remember from that movie? I do. We watched them film a lot of the outdoor scenes. So a lot of the scenes with the robbers uh, where you have sort of the bigger stunts where the robbers are uh, swinging from the rope back into the back of the house. Uh, the scene where Joe Pesci's character is going up the front steps of the house and then falling backwards. <laughs> and of course, the iconic scene where uh, Kevin goes down the stairs on the sled, uh, watch the the Poor stunt double come flying out the front door oh, no. and onto the, the <laughs> front man. That was a lot of fun. What interactions did you have, good or bad, with the stars of the movie? Or any oh, of your family members? Only good. Uh, everyone was just lovely. Uh, the the crew was there for, for quite some time, so they became kind of like an extended members of the family. We got to know them quite well. And the cast members would hang out in the house when they weren't filming their scenes. Uh, Kevin McAllister's uh, cousin in the movie, Fuller, uh, that was played by uh, Macaulay Culkin's younger brother, Kieran, and huh. he wasn't filming as much, so he would spend a lot of the time uh, in my room, and, and we would uh, talk and play together, um, and it was it was just a lot of fun. Uh, Devin Rattray, who played older brother Buzz, um, perhaps not the uh, the kindest of characters in the, the movie, uh, the young man, he was just so lovely and so kind. Um, so it was a lot of fun to get to know everybody. So your family stayed in that house until 2012. Was this every year people just kept driving by your house? Were you guys local celebrities? Uh, it was an every year kind of thing, yes. I don't think we anticipated how uh, how much the movie would touch people, but it really did. And, and so fans would come from all over the world. We had a lot of fans coming uh, to see the house from Asia, from Australia, from Europe, um, and of course from the United States and folks who were local too, just driving by and, and wanting to see what the house looked like in person. Pretty cool to have grown up in that house. Lauren, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, nice Lauren. to talk to you. Thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays. Happy you holidays. Too. Hey, Paul. Hi, you guys. Uh, we're going to see 10.